Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Right now, I am about to head to a Father's Day brunch. I'm gonna take you guys on a weekend in my life, a summer weekend in my life, because I think it's gonna be a really fun one. We're starting it off with the Father's Day brunch. I know me and Christy are planning on going berry picking at the orchard, and I know we're gonna have a lot of pool days because this week is supposed to be really nice weather. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. This is my OOTD, my outfit of the day. I got this romper from Francesca's, and then I got this purse from Zara and my shoes are from Steve Madden. This looks delicious and I just tried to shrimp scampi and it's delicious. <laughs> and then we got shrimp brown. Yeah. Shrimp brown. Yeah. Look at the big boy wow. meals. The dad meals. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I put him down when he started. <laughs> Hello guys, it is the next day. I honestly didn't record that much yesterday at the brunch or lunch that we did. It was just family time and I didn't feel like taking my camera out and I had my nephew with me, but it's the next day and I'm in another cute little outfit. I love this. I got this tank top from Hollister. Shorts are from, I don't even remember where they're from. I've had these shorts for like three years. This bag is from Timu and this headband is my mom's. So I don't know where she got it from. I am going berry picking today it's juneteenth so my mom has the day off she has my nephew she volunteered to watch him today while my sister works chrissy is also off so it's gonna be me chrissy my mom and my nephew we're gonna go pick some berries at the orchard and i'm so excited i love my little outfit though i never wear headbands like this but i've been like trying it out and i'm feeling it we're all ready to go we're having a dance break this is dance break you got a friend in me you got troubles i've got them too there isn't anything i wouldn't do for you Shorts. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> hey vlog. I know for a fact I did not talk to you guys before my pool day, but me and Christy just had a pool day. That's why we're all wet. Now right, we're about okay. to pick up some sandwiches at this deli that is like near his house and they have really really good sandwiches yesterday was super fun i don't think i talked about strawberry picking it was so much fun my nephew was loving it because it was like a kid in a candy store he loves strawberries so much it's called lyman orchards in connecticut and i love that orchard all year round they always have the best stuff their little like store has really good food and they have really good ice cream. So that was a vibe. I don't know why I didn't record that or talk to you guys after. Like I said, I've just been vibing. No thoughts, just vibes. I also just posted a bunch of really cute pictures and videos on Instagram and TikTok. So if you guys don't follow my social media, I don't know what you're doing because there's so much more content on there. I've also been getting active on Pinterest again. I'm trying. That is the one social media app that is like so hard for me to really get into. Not like as a user because that like or as a consumer because I do love like scrolling through Pinterest but actually posting and stuff I feel like I still don't fully understand it but I'm trying because I feel like I'm doing so many like aesthetic things. Alright guys, 
guys, it is the next day. I don't even remember where we left off. I'm about to go get my eyebrows done and then I have to go to Target and I figured I'd take you guys along with me. I have to buy this hair oil, this coconut oil that I've been hearing so many good things about for my hair. I already put scalp oil in, but I wanna oil my ends. I'm gonna wash my hair later. And then while I have all my oils in, after I do all that, I think I'm gonna try to clean my room because my room is getting messy and it's putting me in a funk. I feel like whenever my room is messy, I just start feeling really lazy and unmotivated. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, today's gonna be like a little self-care day, which I feel like is very needed because I'm telling you, like I've been in such a funk with my room being messy, my eyebrows not being done. So I feel like once I have all my things in order, I will feel a whole lot better. I'm hoping that my normal brow lady is here this time because last time it was someone different and I didn't really love the way that she did my brows. So as always, this is the before here is the after oh my gosh i needed this i'm so happy that already is boosting my confidence all right i'm back home now i got these strawberries organic whole frozen strawberries for my smoothies my absolute favorite snack especially in the summer the frozen dark chocolate covered raspberries from true fruit love these and i got some grilled chicken for my salad and this coconut oil that i keep hearing really good things about i'm gonna put it at the end of my hair as like a pre-shampoo ends oil treatment and hopefully it's worth it i'm in my room now i'm gonna put in this oil i look crazy i already oiled my scalp but i just want to oil my ends too Ooh. It smells so good. But this girl that I follow was like hyping this up. So I'm like, all right, girl, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna leave these oils in my hair for a few hours and then I'm gonna wash it out. In the meantime, I need to force myself to clean my room. just washed my hair my mom is about to do my rollers but in the meantime i'm gonna make my salad because i am starving all right guys i am out of the hair dryer fingers crossed my hair came out good this time because last week it did not it was not giving. It was not giving. I'm gonna use the straightener to like take the marks out from the rollers. And then I'm gonna put the sheets on my bed because my sheets are clean now. And I'm gonna get into some comfy pajamas because it is so uncomfortable to sleep in a robe. I don't know if anyone's ever tried doing that. It just gets hot and sweaty. It's just not. Mm -mm. I have August stuck in my head from Taylor Swift. And every time I hear that song, I think of when me and Christy were in Cape Cod for our anniversary last year and we were riding bikes and I was playing it on my phone and then I realized I couldn't get on my phone while riding the bike at the same time because it was in the basket so I would have had to stop so I just didn't stop and I just let the song play and it literally was on repeat for like an hour while we were riding bikes But like it didn't bother me at all like i was vibing it fit the cape cod vibe perfectly and that weekend was just such a dream i loved it so very fond memories and now it's being used for the summer i turned pretty and cape cod is like literally that aesthetic i feel like so speaking of the summer i turned pretty the first book i read it in middle school so like a decade ago over a decade ago now loved it back then so when the show came out i was so excited and what was it like a month or two ago i finally read the last two books so good and now i'm so excited for the second season to come out because i'm just so curious how it's going to be i don't know the show was so good like i know like people get all like oh the book was better and whenever there's like a series or movie ba based on a book but i'm like not uptight about it i don't really care obviously the show and the book are a little different but i like both for what they are i'm super excited and it just gives me some more the summer i turned pretty content to look forward to since i finished the books now and i mean i could always reread it but it'll never hit the way it does like when you first read something right so i like that i have something new to look forward to with 
that i think it's gonna come out at around like a good time too like august but no it comes out like end of july i think it's gonna come out at a good time because it hasn't even felt like summer like it kind of has but not completely i don't know what parts of the world everyone else is in that's watching this but the june gloom has been insane and it's like hard to really feel like it's summer because of this june gloom hopefully in july and august it'll start feeling more like summer finally oh my god my hair is coming out so good <gasps> I love that. Yay. I think last week what happened was, one, I needed to detox my hair because I oiled it and I didn't have any detox shampoo and I only had my hydrate shampoo. So it was like, I already had oils in it and then I used the hydrate shampoo and this time I actually just got the way detox shampoo so i was able to use that so that was one thing and the second thing was that i didn't use a lot of products when i got out like usually i put like olaplex and all this stuff instead i did all the stuff free shampoo i used a detox shampoo and then when i got out i didn't put a lot of like product in I last week i did a deep conditioner and i used k18 and i put the olaplex stuff in like the olaplex leave-in i did too much i hope this last me until saturday today's wednesday thursday friday saturday night that'll be three nights i just don't know what to do with these front pieces right now all right i'm gonna change because i am like sweating Now that I am all cozy and ready for bed, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to have myself a little cozy night in. I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. I love you all so much and I will see you all with a new video next week. Bye!